matter where we are on Earth, from Madagascar to Maine, we can see the moon. Watching the moon can remind us that we are all connected to each other and we are all connected to nature. Just like everything in nature, the moon goes through phases. The moon is a big sphere like a ball that orbits the Earth. As the moon moves, its position between the Earth and the sun changes, allowing more or less of the sun's light to reach its surface. While the moon itself never changes size, the amount of the moon we see does change. Sometimes the moon looks like a crescent, like a big cookie someone took a bite out of. Sometimes it looks like a lumpy rock you might find at the beach. Sometimes it looks big and round, like a wheel of cheese in the sky. For thousands of years, people around the world have looked up at the moon. It has an important role in stories, cultural traditions, and growing food. In China and other Asian countries, people celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival, a celebration of the full moon. This, like many cultural celebrations, is a time to celebrate the harvest and come together with friends and family to watch the moon. Here in Maine, families will celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival by moon watching, eating moon cakes, and telling stories like the tale of the woman who flew to the moon. Just as the moon is a symbol of connection between people during the Mid-Autumn Festival, the moon connects many parts of nature. Did you know that sea turtles hatch during a full moon so the light of the moon guides their way to the ocean? And that plants grow more leaves when there is a full moon? Here in Maine, we see the ocean rise and fall. Sometimes there is lots of room to build sandcastles and rocks to play on. Other times, the water covers all the beach. This rise and fall of water is called a tide. The pull of the moon to the earth plays a part in the regular movement of tidal waters. Every 12 hours, the ocean rises and falls. Are there tides in a lake? Are there tides in a glass of water? The amount of movement in these watery vessels is far too small for us to detect. Oceans have big tides because all of the oceans are connected in one big body of water. In fact, here in Maine, we live very close to the biggest tidal change in the world, which happens at the Bay of Fundy between Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Tides, animals, plants, and humans are all connected by the moon. The more we observe the moon in nature, the more we discover about how amazing these relationships are. So, on the next clear night, go out and look up at the moon. Think of the changing tides, the growing plants, the moving animals, all moving with the moon. Think of someone you love who is nearby and far away and how the moon connects you with them too.